His Excellency Yasir Al Rumayan, Shri K V Chaudhary, Shri K V Kamat, Shri Haigriv Khaitan, Shri Nikhil Meswani, Shri Hital Meswani, Shri P M S Prasad, Mrs Isha Ambani Piramal. श्री आकाश अंबानी श्री अनंत अंबानी ऑल डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द कंपनी आर प्रेजेंट एट दिस मीटिंग श्री वी श्रीकांत चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर श्रीमती सावित्री पारिक कंपनी सेक्रेटरी एंड श्री के सेतु रामन एंड द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स ऑफ आर स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिटर्स एंड सेक्रेटेरियल ऑडिटर ऑफ द कंपनी आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एट दिस मीटिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन Notice dated August fifth, twenty twenty four, convening this annual general meeting, and a copy of the annual report for the financial year ended March thirty one, twenty twenty four, have already been circulated electronically to the members of the company. With your permission, I shall take them as read. The auditor's report on the standalone and consolidated financial statements and the secretarial audit report of the company. For the financial year ended 31st March 2024, do not contain any qualification, reservation, adverse remark, or disclaimer. Accordingly, these reports are not required to be read out as provided in the Companies Act 2013. Now I will begin my formal address to the shareholders. My dear shareholders, good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the 47th annual general meeting. of reliance industries limited at the outset let us warmly congratulate our visionary prime minister shri narendra modi ji for winning a third consecutive term the 2024 parliamentary elections have produced a resounding victory for stability continuity and above all for india's vibrant democracy this has enhanced india's reputation globally and it augurs well third consecutive term the 2024 parliamentary elections have produced a resounding victory for stability continuity and above all for india's vibrant democracy this has enhanced india's reputation globally and it augurs well for the growth prospects of our economy friends now i would like to share a few brief reflections on the global economy the world of today brings both hope and concern on one hand we are living in the best of times with revolutionary breakthroughs in science and technology especially in artificial intelligence computing robotics and life sciences they promise a future of unprecedented prosperity and well-being for all of humanity the birth of ai perhaps the most transformative event in the evolution of human race has opened up opportunities to address a number of complex problems facing mankind on the other hand multiple geopolitical conflicts threaten global peace stability and even economies of nations also it is no longer possible nor acceptable to ignore the stark developmental disparities amid rising aspirations for a better life in the global south however even in these uncertain times there is one absolute certainty and that certainty is the continued rise of new india as it marches confidently towards the goal of viksit bharat in amrit kal among its peers globally india has unmatched demographics and relatively lighter debt burdens with fast growth today india is one of the biggest growth engines and not just a carriage in the global economic train the imf forecasts that by 2027 india is set to emerge as the world's third largest economy surpassing japan and germany achieving this proud milestone will be the best way to celebrate 
the 80th anniversary of our independence. Irrespective of the volatile times globally, India remains the brightest beacon of hope for the world. With its rich cultural heritage, empowered population, surging economic power, and age-old advocacy of peace, our nation will play a pivotal role in changing the world for the better. Friends, Reliance is truly blessed to make a humble contribution, but crucial contribution to creating a better India and a better world. All our businesses continue to be key drivers of the Indian economy. I personally believe that Reliance has become a success story because we have grown with a purpose. We are not in the business of pursuing short-term profit and holding wealth. We are in the business of creating wealth for India and enhancing the quality of life of every Indian every single day. We are in the business of providing highest quality products and services that improve efficiency, productivity, and ease of living for Indian consumers. We are on a mission to provide energy security to our nation. We are on a larger mission to make the world cleaner and greener for our future generations. We do all this because reliance is driven by a purpose firmly rooted in our we care philosophy. This philosophy of doing business with a broader and noble purpose is instilled in all of us by our founder chairman, Sri Dhirubhai Ambani. Esteemed shareholders, our founder firmly believed that you are the backbone of Reliance and that you deserve a substantial reward from time to time as your company grows from strength to strength. I have supreme confidence in the robust performance and the bright future growth prospects of all our businesses. Based on this confidence, I would like to share some good news with you today. At 1.45 p.m. today, Reliance Industries Limited has sent a notice to the stock exchanges that the board of directors will meet on the 5th September to consider issuing bonus shares in the ratio of 1 is to 1. When Reliance grows, we reward our shareholders handsomely. And when our shareholders are rewarded handsomely, Reliance grows faster and creates more value. This virtuous cycle has been the guarantor of your company's perpetual progress. Dear shareholders, as I told you last year, Reliance has now become a net producer of technology. Breakthrough technologies and innovation have always been the greatest wealth creators for nations as well as for corporates. Reliance internalized this Vikas Mantra at every stage of its growth. In recent years, this mantra is transforming Reliance into a deep tech company with advanced manufacturing capabilities in three seminal ways. First, we are embedding innovative technologies in every single business to generate ever greater value for our customers. Second, 